Check out this image. Which of the horizontal lines do you think is longer? Obviously the bottom one, right? Some of you may have probably seen this or another similar optical illusion. Some may have recognized this famous Muller liar illustration and didn't fall for it. However, no matter if you do know or have measured that the two lines are absolutely identical, your mind will still see the bottom line as longer just because of the appended fins pointing in different directions. This is just one of the simple examples of our own mind tricking us, outlined by Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman in his best-selling book, Thinking Fast and Slow. He explains that your mind processing is simply divided into two systems, a fast and subconscious one and a slow and effortful one. The relationship between the two systems and, more importantly, the uncontrolled activity of the first one determines your actions, decisions, and beliefs, and, in a way, directs your life. Why is your brain playing games with you, and can you control it? The example with the two lines is a simple visual illusion, but it stands to say that not all illusions are visual. There are illusions of our thought and perception, which are called cognitive illusions. This type of illusion plays a massive part in our everyday life without us even realizing it. Your professional path, habits, and even your personal and love life are driven by mind illusions buried deep in your brain's biology and are something no one can escape from. The reason is simple, but the way it works, not so much. As living beings, our brains have evolved throughout the ages to achieve maximum efficiency in helping us survive in this hostile universe. The human brain can process unbelievable amounts of information quickly and move on to the next tasks. To achieve this, our brain kind of divided itself into the two already mentioned systems to separate all tasks and process them accordingly. Through System 1, your brain is constantly solving tasks, processing data, and running mechanisms in the background. Functions like heartbeat and breathing, moving the mouse around over your computer screen, walking, or even speaking are constantly powered by your brain subconsciously, while in the meantime your System 2 is focused on dealing with more complicated tasks, such as solving complex equations for example. That's why you'd better not do that while driving in a dense metropolitan area. That is to show us that there are certain tasks that demand our full attention and focus. In order to have that free attention and focus, our brain is helping us by taking care of the dailies on its own, so to speak. Many other experiments and tests have been conducted in this matter, like for example, the funny invisible gorilla experiment, which most of you have surely seen. The key here is the task of counting passes, which requires our full attention and makes the weird gorilla in the middle practically invisible, not for our eyes, but for our minds. The same goes for our life, so you have to always be aware that you can easily miss something important by focusing on the wrong things. In the 1980s, through a series of tests, psychologists discovered that exposure to certain words or thoughts could also reflect on our behavior and decisions. If you focus on this word for a few seconds, how would you complete this word fragment? Soup, right? Though if you had seen this word before instead of the word eat, you would have temporarily been more likely to choose soap. In psychology, this is called a priming effect. In this case, the idea of eating primes the idea of soup, and the idea of washing primes that of soap. But probably the most striking example of priming comes from an experiment by the psychologist John Barg, who gathered students aged between 18 and 22, giving them the task to complete sentences from random given words. In one of the rooms, the words were truly random, but in the other room, he gave them only words associated with the elderly, such as bald, gray, wrinkle, and others. After completing the simple task, the students were asked to go to another hall down the corridor, and that was where the real experiment took place. Researchers were struck to observe that the students who had just been juggling with the elderly words were walking two times slower compared to the others. This is a remarkable example, known as the Florida Effect, which proves that priming can make ideas influence our behavior, with us being completely unaware of that. None of the students in this experiment knew they were walking slower or had any idea of their own adjusted behavior. So next time you're facing an important decision in your life, try to change your perspective. Avoid all prejudice or possible priming factors, count on the real numbers, and don't let yourself fall into your own mental fallacies.